and I'm getting really dizzy. Oh, that was good. Head, head change. <laughs> What is up, friends, lovers of cinema? Jesus Christ, where have I been? Well, a lot of you know where I've been. I've been doing Android stuff, Android show stuff, and kind of gave up on Film Junkie. Why? Because I suck. First off, I wasn't really seeing many movies, so I didn't really do, you know, movie reviews. I think the last movie review I did was The Dark Knight Rises, which was epic, epic, epic. And yes! disappeared from my channel. I started doing vlogs on this channel, which I still will do. I gotta get back into it, you know? There's just a lot of crap happened in real life and stuff, and who wants to talk about that? Me? Can I cry on your shoulder? No, anyways, guys, I am David, the film junkie, and I'm here to bring you some movie news. Could bring you a bunch of movie news, but I'm just gonna bring you stuff that's happened in the last, you know, week the past week, and there's been, well, one in particular pretty exciting news. Star Wars, Disney, ah, uh, oh. Yes, seems that George Lucas finally goes, okay, <laughs> I'll sell it to you for $4.05 billion. Add that $50 million and okay, you got a deal. Shut the fuck up. You know, it, it is about time, because now obviously that Disney has the Star Wars movie rights, we get more Star Wars movies. Yes, 2015 Episode 7 will be hitting theaters with Avengers 2 and the Justice League movie. Holy shit! It's gonna be a pretty epic fuck of a movie year, that's for damn sure. Even though I have my gripes about the Justice League movie, which I still need to do a video on because <laughs> I have many complaints about it. <laughs> okay, calm down. Anyways, yes, so episode seven will be hitting theaters and there's been talks about who's gonna direct it, who's gonna be in it. I just said, as long as George Lucas is not writing or directing either movie, I'll go watch it. All right, before you fanboys or even if any fanboys are watching or anybody starts getting on me for saying that, answer me one question first. Out of all six Star Wars movies, which one is your absolute favorite? I'll give you some time. All right, time's up, because I already know that you either said Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. And do you know why you said one of these two movies? Because George Lucas did not write the screenplay, nor did he direct either one of those movies. Mine. Bloon! How does he do it? He's so magical, it's like he's in my brain! Yeah, that's right, gang. You can IMDB that shit, too. Uh, two different directors, different screenwriters, Apparently when he wrote, did the original Star Wars, it was too much for him, so he didn't want to do it. He just was a producer, obviously, and he was on set for most of the time. He still created the story, but he didn't write the screenplay because, <laughs> let's face it, the prequel sucked ass. Like, hairy ass. Hairy, stinky, donkey ass. They were terrible. Absolute ter- I mean, they had its good and bad moments, you know? Good being... Darth Maul's awesomeness, bad being killing Darth Maul, and Jar Jar Binks, and bad dialogue, bad cast. It was a lot, a lot of bad, a lot of bad. I mean, Revenge of the Sith was probably the best out of the prequels, but Jesus, it still had its moments of like, really? Is Hayden Christensen even trying? So yeah, Disney, and you know what? They, they, there's been talks that Harrison Ford is open to coming back as Han Solo, which, I mean, I guess that could work and it would definitely satisfy fanboys, but I mean, Indiana Jones was crap. <laughs> the last one, because I don't know, it's just, he, he's, I don't know, it's just, he just doesn't have it anymore. It's just, he's, he's an old man, I mean, he's still got it somewhat, but, but then I heard that Carrie Fisher is also <laughs> open to coming back and, well, of course, what the hell has she done? But let's hope she doesn't return in that gold bikini. Good God. Mark Hamill even also said he would come back. I mean, obviously. I mean, that's, they're, they're known for those roles. I mean, Harrison Ford obviously was a successful one out of that. I mean, they're known for that role, so of course it'll be open for it. But I guess we'll see what happens. Um, there's been polls out there, like, who's going to direct it. Obviously, Joss Whedon is out. Peter Jackson is out because Josh, Joss, Whedon is going to be doing Avengers 2, and Peter Jackson is going to be doing, doing the new Hobbit movies. I believe he's got Hobbit movies. Um, they've been saying um, Matthew Vaughn, the guy who directed Kick-Ass, and he was going to direct the new X-Men movie, and they said that he dropped out simply because 
he's gonna start doing the Star Wars project. That's a rumor. Don't quote me on that. But you can quote me on the not quote me. Yeah. So, you know, movie lovers out there, who do you think should direct Star Wars Episode 7? My opinion, Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, I think he'd be an excellent choice. He's freaking got some vision, man. Did you see Pan's Labyrinth? He did the Hellboy movies. He's got, he could do it. I think he could do it. But you know, let me know what you think down below in the balls area, you know. Let me know what you think. But uh, on, off the Star Wars news, let's get on some real shiz. I don't have my crazy transitions like I used to, but I'll get them back sooner or later. The Evil Dead, I was, <laughs> at first I was not happy when I heard there was gonna be an e Evil Dead remake because I'm a huge fan of the original. It's just pure epic horror cheese that's just so great. Bruce Campbell, ah, so great. But I saw the Red Band trailer and holy freaking shit, I had a nightmare that night. It's like they're just taking what they wanted to do way back then and they could do it now. It's gory, it's graphic, it's crazy. Watch the trailer down below. I guarantee you, you'll be like, oh, what? I, I just got raped in the brain. Iron Man 3 trailer came out, pretty awesome. It's gonna, hmm. Tony Stark's gonna go through some shit in this one, that's for sure. I can't wait for that. I, I'm a huge fan of the Iron Man movies. Obviously, the first one was fantastic. Second one, underrated. I watched it the other day, and I only watched it one time fully before. It's a good freaking movie. It's a good sequel. It's really good. Oh, guess what's coming in 3D? I'll show you the poster and you take a guess. Yeah. That's freaking retarded. When do we get to see Showgirls in 3D? Huh? Wait, that was a terrible movie. I don't know. Nah. Jesse Spano's vagina all up in your face. But yeah, 3D, ah, oh God, sick of it, but whatever, move on. Another movie I'm really looking forward to that's coming out next year that they gave a little teaser to the teaser, World War Z starring Brad Pitt. That'll be down below too. You can see like Entertainment Tonight's gonna, I guess, show tomorrow night. If, well, I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video, maybe tonight. Uh, Entertainment Tonight is gonna show it tonight. It'll hit the web. Yeah, I've just looked for it on the web, but check down these below. <laughs> It looks pretty freaking awesome. I've always liked Brad Pitt as an actor, and it looks like it's gonna be a pretty intense freaking movie. I mean, really intense. And I heard the book is really good, so maybe I'll grab the book, but I don't think I'll see the movie first. I hate it when people, those people. You should read the book, it's so much better. Yeah, you don't like the Twilight movies. <laughs> you just like the books, yeah, sure. That's why you're waiting there at midnight with a Team Edward shirt on. Oh my God, it's the last one, it's coming next week. Who's gonna go with me when that's showing? I'll be the guy with the mustache saying, Team Billy? I don't freaking remember what the dad's name is. That's because I don't give a shit. Anyways, guys, that's all the movie news I wanted to give you. Uh, I'm gonna continue doing that. I'm gonna try to do this once a week. Uh, I'm gonna try to see some movies and give some film reviews. Uh, the whole trailer trash thing, I'm gonna maybe try to do, but uh, like some of my old videos got flagged and stuff like that. I got, oh, you know what, copyright infringement. Freaking whatever, but uh, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. I still have a lot with the uh, Android Spin channel, which if you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. And uh, yeah, anyways, glad to talk about movie music again. This has been fun, total fun, because movies are also my passion, as well as I was gonna say something funny, but I, nothing popped in there. Nothing popped in this huge head of mine. Anyways, guys, I am David the Film Junkie, and. Wow, I'm so used to saying I'm the Android Junkie, this has been the Android Junkie. Anyways, this has been the Film Junkie, right? <laughs> Spinning.